state is been playing with great focus and they have a, a great resolve and never say die attitude. And so it did not surprise me the game is going to come down to one possession, which we did. Uh, we certainly counted our quarterback, but quite frankly, I don't know if I've ever counted on him being on the onside hands team and making a big play, but uh, they came about work that we've done way back in fall camp. Uh, so uh, I thought the guys played really hard and certainly turnovers be a big uh, component of the game, and, and they were, and uh, you know, really pleased in the end when we needed to run the football, we were able to do that uh, against the energy defense, and, and so great win, it's good to have uh, our, our hands again, uh, it's just number nine, and uh, we got to keep moving forward, so this time, any questions? You clinched a share of the conference title, that was a goal back in uh, preseason, your thoughts on that? That was our number one goal. special it is to play in the Missouri Valley Conference, uh, how tough and competitive a league it is, how much parity there is. And so for us to clinch a, a, a portion of the title is a huge step. And now the next step is to, to do what we can to, to try to win the whole thing outright. Uh, but we're certainly pleased with this win. Uh, I want to say thanks to our fans. Uh, the energy and the enthusiasm certainly was outstanding, and they've been great all year long. Were you acknowledging the students on that uh, too many men on the field, I'm going to go. No. I saw you go like that. I was looking at the students. I was just standing. I was excited. Oh. I, I saw a flag go down. I was wondering what in the world that could be. And so that was a, I thought, a big, big play. I mean, a big opportunity. It looked like their coaches were trying to yell somebody off the field and they couldn't hear it. That'd be a great storyline right there. Yeah. And I, I can't say that I was doing that. He was holding the best uh, rusher in the nation at 43 yards. Tell me about that performance by your defense. Um, that came down to really being disciplined down uh, to be a, a gap uh, sound, and uh, that occurred um, you know, throughout the game. I think there was maybe one time where we missed the gap and he got a little bit of a run, but that was going to be uh, the starting point uh, of our defense is to negate the rush and then make him throw it, make him throw in the hurry. Sometimes we did that, other times we didn't, but I think certainly to make him one dimensional was uh, a great feat by our defense and uh, put ourselves in a advantageous position to come up with different schemes, whether it be fire blitzes, four-man rush, or four-man coverage. Craig, yards and points were hard to come by in this game. How much was it their defense, and how much was it just maybe uh, your performance on an offense? Well, we changed our game plan a little bit, if you'll notice. Uh, and uh, we felt like it was important to throw some curves out there. Brock had a number of predetermined runs. Uh, he's a very effective runner. We have not run him a lot during the course of the year. Quarterback one game is a is a you know, that's the that's the eleventh half that's very difficult to defend and so we've been holding that uh, we were able to utilize that today and, and we knew yards were going to be hard to come by and so that you know, the one the one play I think he had about a sixty yard run down the sideline was huge and it turned to flip the field. Why holding it on onto it till today? Pardon me? Was there something specific about their defense you saw? Well, that, I don't want to get into all kinds of specifics, yeah. but yeah. Uh, uh, sometimes those schemes match up and other times they don't. Coach, how stressful were those final seconds for you in the last three minutes? Oh, well, first of all, we knew they, they had no timeouts, but also, uh, you know, I saw them convert two fourth downs against SIU, fourth down and 19. So it wasn't like you with the offensive unit that was out there that was not going to be able to execute, that was not going to be able to maintain their composure. And we're certainly disappointed that we gave up the score. But on the positive end, we bled the clock down so much. That back. Do you have an overall thought on your defense again today? Well, they keep on answering the bell. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know if we held them. I think we held them under 200 yards. I don't know what the final numbers were. Maybe it was over that. I know at the tail end is about that. But uh, I can't say enough. It, but it's a team sport. You know, our offense, defense, and the kicking game all pull together. And every year is defined a different way. But uh, our football team has got nine wins. Here with the Missouri Valley Conference.